and welcome to Rugged Outdoors Guide. My name is Pete Stack and this is my channel. Guys, today we're going to be talking about a particular product. It's going to be a product review and uh, it is a wood stove, otherwise known as a twig stove for your campsite. It requires no fuel, although there is a fuel option. And guys, before I get into the details of it, please do like and subscribe if you want more product review details like I'm going to talk about today or trip documentaries uh, or or just kind of tips and tricks in the industry, not the industry, but the wonderful pastime of outdoor wilderness canoeing and camping. If you do that, if you give me a like and a subscribe, I'm actually going to give you this stove, maybe one of you anyway. So um, uh, I'm going to mail this to you. It's going to be used like a couple of times, but you know, too bad. And um, wherever you are, I will mail it to you. Well, in in uh, Canada or the U.S., right? And uh, that'll be if you leave a comment below, preferably constructive and nice. Don't be a troll. And um, uh, also your name and uh, give me a like and a subscribe, right? Appreciate it. And this is yours. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me just clarify that. On December 31st of 2021, I will do a random draw and uh, and then I'll just notify one of you and um, you guys will get this. I mean, I guess I can't prove to the rest of you that I did, but I promise you, I'm a I'm an honest guy. I will send it to one of you, all right? So guys, what we're gonna talk about today is a Yardine portable wood burning stove. And as you can see, it's not too big. It comes in a little package like this. And um, I'm going to show you, I don't know if I can do it standing up here. Oh, by the way here, uh, I'm gonna show you how it goes together. This is a padded mesh bag. It's kind of cool. I like it. I like the feel of it. And so it's, it's, that's what you need to put this in. It just seems right. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how this goes together. And uh, it took me a few times to figure this out actually. So there's a little dish here that is for a kind of a biofuel cube. You can buy them on um, Amazon as well. I don't really use them, but I think I will put some in my pack just in case. I always think I can find wood everywhere, but sometimes it's like really raining and it's just not really convenient. So that's what that is. Down it goes. All right, so this is the main part of the stove. It's pretty small, but here's how it works. This thing comes off. This comes out. This has a piece that drops down. This piece goes, sorry, wrong way. Whoa. Yeah, great. Okay, let's try that again. Here's this, this goes. Okay, it goes like that. Okay, this piece drops down. It's attached. It goes into this one like that. And then this goes on top like that. And then there's three things right here that you put your pot on. And then the little dish can fit right inside here if you wanna use the biofuels, All right? So it's three pieces and um, it's fairly small, but very sturdy. All right, so what I'm gonna do is talk a little bit about some of the, um, the specs on it, all right? So you wanna see what you're getting. So what it is, is um, it's an 18 ounce little stove. 18 ounces is actually just about right. It fits kind of in the middle of, the middle range of this, the weight range of these types of stoves. Uh, I showed you the mesh carry bag, which is very cool. I do like that. This particular stove is probably the most technically designed stove. And what I mean by that is that most of the other stoves are literally just um, a, a metal box. It's like you take sheet metal and bend it four ways around and you have a box, or I suppose if you want to do it in a circle, it's just, it's just a piece of metal. This one is not, this has like double walls and it's got, you know, actually this is a third piece in addition to two walls. This piece goes here. Like there's a lot of stuff going on here. And uh, I think I've seen someone use one of these before and the, the flames come out of the side inside here. There are, I don't know if you can see it, there are little holes inside this chamber and the flames come out like like a, a gas jet. So it's, it's done, I would say, the best word I can think of is very technically. It's not just a flame coming out and licking the bottom of your pot, but it's kind of like a gas stove where the flame jets come shooting out of the sides. So the only other thing I will say about this is that I believe it's going to be a little bit awkward to stoke this in terms of uh, keeping it fed with, with sticks and fuel 
without taking the pot off the top because as you can see, I'm turning it around, there is no access point to the chamber, the burning chamber, which is inside. You can only see it in the top. So I'm gonna see how that works. There is a break in this, this ring that goes around here. There is a bit of a break here where my fingers are right now. See how I can go kind of in. And that's the only place I'm gonna be able to put uh, sticks. So the sticks are gonna have to be short, almost like pellets of some kind. Um, I'll break the sticks, you know, twigs into little chunks. That's the only way I'll be able to get them in there. So a little bit more awkward than maybe some other ones that you can put long sticks in. But anyways, that's, you know, whatever. That comes with the territory. So, yeah. All right, so now we're just gonna do my standard test, which is two standard cupfuls of water in a pot. See how quickly it comes to a boil. Let's do it. All right, guys. So, I don't know if you can see my watch. It's three minutes, 40. 49 seconds or so and look at this the water is boiling enough to make any sort of uh, great looking drink or I should say great tasting drink or great looking dish um, I stoked it with a bunch of these sticks like this uh, this is a pretty big one this is the size of my finger most of them were a tiny bit smaller and then birch bark that's it and I did not see any Flames here. Let's take a look. I'm going to take this water off now because it has boiled and Look at that It's just it's a small flame now, but it's it's boy like it's it's really boiling. You can't hardly see the flame uh, And there's a bunch of wood in there. It's just pretty simple. I don't see any jets But I do I will tell you that this is faster faster boil than uh, another stove that I've tried recently and watch this, it looks, I can't even see the flame. Oh, there's an invisible flame coming out. But you know what, if I put this back on, it's starting to boil again. <laughs> so I can barely see it. It's kind of like an invisible flame, which is maybe a good thing. Maybe it's burning super hot. I don't know, but I can tell you that this, in, in less than four minutes, this did the job. Whereas I have another stove, a rocket stove that took over six minutes. So, Good job. Looks good on you, Yardine camp stove. Okay, friends, that was the Yardine portable twig stove for your campsite. It was a good deal. We're talking $16, which is less than half of what some of them cost. And the water boiled in just over half the time as another stove I have that costs twice as much. So I really like this one so far, even though you've got to cut your or break your twigs into something about uh, three inches or, or shorter. Uh, but still, in three minutes you had boiling water, two cups of water. All right guys, if you appreciate reviews like this, please do give us a like and a subscribe. And especially give me a like and a subscribe on this video, because if you do, you automatically are entered into a draw to win this stove. And I will mail it to you after December 31st of 2021. That's when I'll do the draw. And anywhere in Canada or the US, it's yours if you win the drop, right? Uh, until the next time, guys, get out there. Enjoy God's creation like a beautiful stream in the middle of nowhere in the wilderness. And above all, guys, keep on looking up.